All right, so we are moving right along here. The next thing we're going to do is to embed or to put in uh, a document from Google Drive into our Google site or digital portfolio. So we're going to start with the poetry project. So I encourage you just to take a minute and sit back and watch this um, because you're going to need to have your materials together in order to be able to follow along and you may not have that ready yet. So it's a good idea to kind of watch and take note and then get your stuff together. And if you need to, uh, you can play the video again and just follow along and get your uh, documents inserted the same way that I'm getting ready to do this one. So for the poetry project, uh, we are going to embed a Google Doc down here under final product. Um, I think it's a great idea to embed Google Docs for several reasons. Um, one, you're going to be able to see it quickly and easily. If I were to do an attachment down at the bottom, I'd have to download it and then open it and it's just not as, as quickly viewed by the audience. And then two, if you notice that there's anything that's not correct on your Google Doc, let's say you have like a grammar or spelling error, then you can go back into your Google Drive, make the change on the document, and it's going to automatically change in your Google site. So wherever possible, I encourage you to embed a Google Doc. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. For the Poetry Project, I have my project here as a, let me drag that over, as a Word document. So this first example is going to show you how to take like a Microsoft Office document to get it into Google Drive, convert it like you need to, and then share it and embed it. So I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and minimize and add it to Google Drive. So I've got Google Drive um, up here at the top. Remember that you can get to it by clicking Drive on the menu bar. And the upload button is here. So we're going to upload that Microsoft Word document that you just saw. And that is a file. And let me go to Documents, My Digital Portfolio, and this is seventh grade work. So there's the poetry project. So I'm going to open that. And if you remember from my earlier video, I checked this confirm settings before each upload um, to make sure that I could convert documents, uh, presentations, spreadsheets, and drawings into the corresponding Google Docs format. Uh, the second checkbox has to do with PDF, and we're going to use that in a, in a separate example. So I'm going to go ahead and click Start Upload. If you notice that your conversion is off, you can change that under settings. You may have to re-upload the document if it's already uploaded. So you want conversion on. If it's off, you can change that in settings. And like I said, you may have to re-upload. So doing that, I come over here and I've got, um, I actually have two poetry projects. The first one um, was one that I'd already uploaded um, to use in the demo that I did prior to doing this video. And this is the one that actually, I'm sorry, this is the one right here that just got uploaded. And I can tell that because the previous one is shared and this one is not yet shared. So just ignore that other one for right now. Um, notice that I can go ahead and share it here, but I'll show you another way to do that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it here. And this opened as a Google Doc. Now notice it still has the .docx file extension, which is indicative or indicates um, the Microsoft Word format that I originally got this from. Now you can upload if you don't convert. And let me just show you. If you upload files and choose this poetry project and then just don't have it on convert, um, you can get uh, another version that's that's um, the Word document. So this symbol right here, that indicates that's a Microsoft Word document. And if I click on it, it's going to load a preview, but it's not going to allow me to edit it. So let me X out of that. Okay, so that's kind of the difference. So we are on this one right here, and I want to share it. So you can share it by clicking it here, and then you can do more share and then share again. Or with it open, you can come in here and choose the blue share button in the top right corner. Now notice at this time, it's private to only me. So I could put this in the Google site and see it just fine and think everything was you know, just great. But then somebody else who tried to see my portfolio, they're not gonna see this. So I need to change the share setting to be anyone with the link can view because once it's in, um, the Google site as a link, uh, then anyone who gets in that Google site will be able to see it. So 
right here I'm going to choose change and I'm going to choose anyone with the link can view make sure it's can view you don't want people editing um, and then I think it's a good idea too if you're doing this um, you know with uh, a teacher or you know maybe you have a partner that you're working on this with uh, you go ahead and add them as an editor and then as the document um, evolves or if you go back and notice something later that needs to be changed you can edit it here and then it'll automatically save on that Google site so that's one of the really great things about the Google products um, I'm gonna click cancel and make sure again it says anyone who has the link can view and if I hover over that share button I'll see again that anyone with the link can view so we're good this is in Google Drive now it is shared appropriately I just need to put it on the site so I'm going to go ahead and choose edit page and instead of coming soon I'm going to insert document and now it found both of them. So obviously the one that's most recent is the one I want to use. Again, the other one I used um, when I was first uh, doing videos and examples um, a while back. So I'm going to click select. And I have some options. I can put a border around it. I can include a title. How about I just do poetry project. Um, and then I can do height and a width. So the height, obviously, up and down. I may want, if it's a really long document, I may want to come up on the pixels. You don't have to, but this is just a recommendation. So there's not quite as much scrolling down um, as there would be with a shorter um, document. And then with the width, it says to leave empty for 100%. That means going across the whole page. We're going to just totally leave it empty and, and go for that. So I'm going to click save. Okay, now it looks like it's not going to go across the whole page, but it will. I just have to click save. Um, again, I've got options for a line left, center, right. And if I had text wrapped around this, I could wrap the text around. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And now I see that it did indeed take up the entire width of the space it had. And I can scroll down here and um, see that entire thing. Now it looks like if I just made it a little bit longer, um, as far as pixels were concerned, I wouldn't have to scroll at all. So let me edit page and just adjust that setting. So instead of 800 pixels, let's do maybe like 1100 pixels. Click save, save. And now I don't have a scroll bar and that's a good thing. So that was, that was a pretty good guesstimate, 1100. Okay, um, so that's how you embed a Google Doc. Um, one thing in this next example I'm going to show you, um, it's going to be how to um, embed a PDF. So PDFs aren't uh, easily edited. It's not like Microsoft Word documents where you can open it and start editing. Uh, PDFs are kind of like pictures of documents. You, you can look at it you can read it but you can't edit it very easily um, so we're going to go ahead and do that example now too because if you have a pdf of, of your work or whatever it is your product um, this would be a good way to embed that as well so uh, for the climate change project so let me come under here under climate change we have a pdf so i'm going to upload it just like i did previously and there's the climate presentation and notice it i had unchecked just a minute ago um all the boxes here and that included the conversion box so i actually do want to convert text from uploaded pdf and image files and I'm actually going to ask it to confirm again. So let's see if it grabbed that conversion. If not, I may have to start uh, the upload again. Okay, so it says uploaded, but it doesn't say converted. So that's kind of my hint that I need to do this again. So let me upload the PDF again with conversion on. There it is. Okay, we'll go ahead and click all of them. And this time it should convert to a Google Docs format. Now, just kind of a, a word of warning um, when you convert uh, some documents to Google Docs sometimes the original formatting can be off okay it doesn't look exactly like you anticipated maybe page breaks are different or images are in slightly different uh, locations okay obviously this is a very long large file um, so it, it's actually one and, and it's it's in the um, 
presentation like where this one came from it's an actual climate presentation it's a pretty pretty good presentation um but let's pretend like it's not too long you would just upload it and then the same thing as you did with the poetry project here uh, you would choose insert edit page insert document and then go ahead and put that in there um, unfortunately this one's too long sorry about that now we know we can only convert files up to two megabytes in size okay so I'm gonna just leave it at that for right now and uh, now you guys know whoops, how to upload a Google Doc into your your Google Sites. Thanks for watching.